Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to edit your sound envelopes in Soundtrack Pro and where you should do this. Okay, the sound envelopes allow you to change your sound recording, for instance panning the audio to the left or right, or changing the volume level at, level at certain points in your recording, to fade in or out, or to decrease the volume of some audio if it's too high. So, uh, to look for the, the sound envelopes, we look to the left here, under the track names, and you go to the track you want to change, so in this case it's this one, uh, we'll click on the triangle here, and this will show us the envelopes here. So what we've got here is the, the selectors for the volume and the panning, right? And then we've got the actual envelopes here. So we've got the volume, um, which we can change, uh, increase or decrease, and we've got the pan here. So we can move the audio to the left or right side. Okay, so the horizontal line here uh, represents the audio level. So in this case, if we were to double click here, uh, we can see that it's, it's 0.83. So if we were to, which is just above the normal level, which would be 0. Okay, so in what situation we would use, uh, we would change the volume level, is if, for instance, the recording was too high. So if we listen to this, Oh, you scared as well now, Jamal. It was probably water dripping or something. Haha, <laughs> funny, Mac. When whatever it is comes for you, I'll be long gone. So if we listen to that bit there, it sounds louder than the rest of the audio, basically. So what we'll do is uh, double click here. So we bring up the, the diamond there. And then we can actually, if we move that to there, we can actually decrease the volume of a certain little section of the whole audio recording. So we'll do because that's that's louder than the other bits, we should actually decrease it, say, to minus one decibel. And when we find the end of the clip, and then we push it back up to what it was before, one point five five. Oh, you scared as well now? Did you hear that? Damn! What was that? Oh, you scared as well now, Jamal? It was probably water dripping or something. So I might even decrease it a bit more. But that will um, it will decrease the volume of that piece, so it will all sound natural. So all the recordings will be at the same level, which is very useful in correcting the the, the level of the whole piece. So you don't get one character whose whose voice is a lot louder than the others. Uh, so we we create these little sections by double clicking, which create we which brings up this diamond, which we then we can then pull up. Uh, to pull down, sorry, to decrease the volume or push up to increase the volume to a maximum of six decibels. And then to delete this selection, we double click and press delete. So that's that's very useful in correcting the volume levels. Uh, what we can also do as well is uh, we can pan left and right. So we might do this as a, a, an effect, um, say, in a, a horror drama, um, it might like boost the realism, you know, scare the audience. If the, the audience sound the the vocals sound like manipulated and have strange effects on them. Um, also we can we can use it say if it's if it's necessary if there needs to be a pan. So what can we can do is double click. Uh, again we'll create like a small section of pan basically. So we'll choose this here and basically what the horizontal line here means is that it's when it's in the middle it's centered. So the volume is coming out equally uh, left and right. If we if we had to lift this selection up, though, we can see it goes you know six percent L, which means it's more it's veering off to the left more, up to hundred percent L, which is just completely coming out through the left channel. Did you hear that? Damn! What was that? Oh, you scared as well now, Jamal? It was probably water dripping or something. Haha, <laughs> funny, Mac. When whatever it is comes for you, I'll be long gone. Stop arguing. Something's blind, but my head is creeping me and out. That's Jamal. And that's centered there again. So we might use this as as an effect. Um, to to boost the realism or to give a sort of certain vibe to the piece, or we might just do it to correct the audio. Say if it for some reason this it's, um, it's more on one side than the other. So I say we might move up to to here and then. Did you hear that? Damn! What was that? So that could be for the whole piece, or we could just do like a small section of um, of pan to one bit. So say. I'll be long gone. Stop arguing. Something's blind, but my head is creeping me out. Do you uh, If we find like a scary bit of audio. Black down here. Get your pitch black down. Ow, it's pitch black. 
So say we wanted to make that sound like the, the woman was like crazed or mad or something, we could create like a small section of panned uh, audio, so we could you know pan it to like the right or something, and then uh, we can just do that for a small section just by creating these little diamonds here, which show that we've just created a small section of panning. And then we do another diamond and then we'll put it back to the normal level, which is centered again. So you can see there it's centered until it gets to there, and then it's panned right for like a small section. And then as you can see there, it goes back to centered. So if we listen to that. Increase. Jamal, it's pitch black down here. Uh, or we could even do it more if, if we want to be more extreme. Increase. Jamal, it's pitch black down here. Which it may not sound right there, but in certain situations, uh, it could really boost the realism or boost the realism or the effectiveness of the drama, and that's why you'd you'd pan. Um, and so to delete the pan again, we select it and press delete. And now we get your 